conversations with the Conservatives haven't been productive. Uh, they're mostly focused on politics and focused on politics. And Don't you just hate it when politicians are playing politics with another politician? Imagine that. Listen to what this guy, Mark Miller, the Minister of Immigration, is going to say. When you look at the growth that we have seen in people that are temporary residents of Canada, that's something that has grown uh, almost exponentially over the last few years, from about 437,000 individuals in 2019 alone to about uh, 1.2 uh, million in 2023. Uh, that comes with consequences. 2 uh, million in 2023. Uh, that comes with consequences. Like, I feel like he's actually calling out the government for letting them in, but he's the government. You're the one that let them in, you idiot was Canadians don't want elections. They just want us to do the job. They just want us to govern. And that's what we're doing. We're governing. We're taking tough decisions. Why? Because times are tough. And so, wait, wait, let me finish. I'm speaking. Oh, you're speaking. I thought you were saying... Why? Because... My bad. I didn't realize you were speaking. What we heard over the summer, we, all of us, spent a great deal of time traveling the country, talking to people in our own communities. Oh, really, Christia? Uh, how many Canadians have you met that told you that they wanted you to quadruple the carbon tax to 61 cents a liter? We heard that people have frustrations, and we listened. And what we heard is that Canadians need housing. They need us to build more homes faster. That is what we're doing. It's pretty obvious with everything that was caused by this government, what Canadians need it's affordable housing, affordable cost of living. Speaker, I am so glad to have the chance to talk about the economy. That is because today we had good news for Canadians. Inflation is back down to where it was before COVID hit. This incompetent finance minister would tell you that you should celebrate that after prices rising faster than at any time in 40 years, they continue to rise, just not as quickly. Inflation is back to where it was pre-pandemic levels, but not the prices of the items you buy. Hello? I'm going to leave it at that. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Thanks for watching.